And so one of the important things we need to understand, whenever you hear somebody say, so many people died after the vaccine, or so many people had a stroke after the vaccine, or so many people had a heart attack after the vaccine, it's very, that always has to be contrasted with what's the background rate of those problems had they not gotten vaccinated. We, this is called a controlled trial. So that's why you hear you know, doctors and public health officials get uh, most excited about when we have data from randomized controlled trials or even um, non-randomized controlled trials, what we call epidemiologic studies. So what happens when you take 10 million Americans over, let's say, two months, if we gave them something completely benign, a sugar pill, and watched them? And by the way, at our peak, that's about how many people we were vaccinating a week, about 10 million people a week. So just take a given week of vaccinated people um, when we were vaccinating the most, like in <clears throat> um, February or so, and watch them for two months. This is what we would expect to see. 4,000 heart attacks, 1,700 blood clots, almost 4,000 strokes, almost 10,000 new diagnoses of cancer, and 14,000 deaths. So when somebody says somebody died after the vaccine, or somebody got a, a stroke after the vaccine, or somebody got a blood clot after the vaccine, you kind of have to shrug your shoulders and say, okay, um, what does that mean when I know this many people are going to die or get a stroke or get a heart attack, regardless of what I give them, if I gave them nothing? And so we look at that, we, we do that, we try and compare this to background rates, we try to compare them to uh, control groups, and what do we find? There are some things that have uh, uh, certainly shown up. Certainly we know that like, you know, the, the kind of well-reported side effects of the vaccine, like a sore arm or headache or muscle aches or low-grade fevers, those are fairly common. Those can occur in a quarter to sometimes uh, the sore arm over half of people. They're short-lived. Uh, they tend to be fairly benign, um, lasting typically one to two days. What we're mostly concerned about, obviously, is the more serious adverse events and what has been identified by that intense scrutiny. There are some. Anaphylaxis in about two to five cases per million. Um, the thrombosis and thrombocytopenia syndrome that's been reported with the J&J &J vaccine. This is that unusual clotting uh, disorder that's been identified. Overall, it's about three out of a million people. It's um, highest in younger reproductive aged females. I'll get more into this in a second. Now we've been hearing about the Guillain-Barre syndrome, a type of <coughs> um, uh, autoimmune paralysis that can occur um, after the J&J &J vaccine. That's been about eight cases per million. That's predominantly um, uh, uh, found in older males. And then myocarditis after the Pfizer or Moderna vaccines, the mRNA vaccines. Overall, that's about 3.5 per million in adults, um, about 25 per million in those under 30. And I'm gonna get more into that because that's one of the highest rates of, of something that we see. So we'll, we'll take a little closer look at that. But this is what's been identified with intense scrutiny. So what? The first thing I'd point out from that is we're finding needles in haystacks. I mean, these are extraordinarily rare events and our system is, is finding them and looking very hard. All of us doctors get multiple alerts from the CDC and our health departments to like, look for these, report them, uh, send them in. Uh, we need to know uh, about any and all of these. And, um, and they may not capture everything, but they're capturing uh, um, of serious adverse events. We know that a lot of these systems capture the majority. Um, you sometimes hear they they capture very uh, low numbers. That's we don't we're not very good at capturing the sore arms and the headaches and the muscle aches in these reporting systems. But we are pretty good at capturing the serious adverse events.